All right, well, I got the gear. Time to really grind my gears. All right, so we're gonna go restore power to the Colosseum with the power of this gear. In that case, Colonel, could this be Metal Gear? Terribly sorry, Chief. You sure you're okay? Yep, yeah, I'm fine. There's no need for all the worrying. Good, that's good. But Silva, this is an outrage. Also, I guess the thing that I was reading off of there was using like the Japanese names. Some of that. Oh no, I reckon he agonized over this and did it because he thought it right. Can't blame the man for that. Enough about that, Duke. Instead, I think you should look over there. The guy has a pretty sick mustache. They both have pretty sick mustaches. Well, you people. <laughs> I reckon you might be saying thanks, Duke. Do they even know that I have the gear at this point? But that's the gear. That's Metal Gear. You found it for us? What amazing luck. I'll ask you to excuse me for my behavior earlier. You seem to be people who are worthy of trust. You have my sincere thanks. All right. I'll get you to slot that gear snugly back in that gap where it belongs. So I just like, one of the gears is missing. Gear. Use. Okay. Well done. Standing by. Let it roll. Oh, 30 long years of cranking gears. Oh, yeah. I kind of changed the tone that I gave for him after noticing, like, his mustache and look. That's kind of what I more imagined him to have. There we go. Cool. Well, <laughs> this is the way it ought to be. Things are fine now. Okay. I can tell that you're a man of courage and honor. I have a favor to ask, will you hear me out? Sure. I'm grateful. Why well, don't you attend to the next Coliseum battle? I need you to win the knockout challenge and find out what is going on there. I can tell from a glance that you're no ordinary trainer. I know you can win. I'm sorry, but help me. Okay. Sure. So let's see here. I might... Oh, they just stay all pissed off and stuff. Huh. Whoops. Between battles, that's... Certainly something. So maybe I'd start out with Croconaw. And then, um... I don't know, maybe do this. And then we can be surfing and stuff. Maybe? Maybe that's not a bad idea. Okay, so now we can enter the Coliseum. Now we can play Pokemon Coliseum. Yeah, I can see some of this Metal Gear rising from the water. Now we're going past Metal Gear. A weapon to surpass Metal Gear. We're going into Metal Gear Rising. That's the next thing. Is it Metal Gear Rising or is it a Metal Gear that's rising? No. Alright. Progress has been saved. There we go. Save it to my computer. Alright. Thank you for your patience. The power has been turned back on. I'm happy to accept the registration for the next challenge. Hello. Welcome to Pirate Coliseum. Would you like to join Knockout Challenge? Sure. Okay. We'll be entering the Pokemon they have your party now. Yep. I sure will. Hope you give, I hope you give it your best shot and aim for victory. Yep. I will. I will do that. Alright. So I guess she's not coming with me, so there's not going to be any Shadow Pokemon during Coliseum battles. We just battle. Alright, Coliseum battle one. Yeah, I definitely did not get this far when, uh, you know, playing this back when. Definitely did not end up getting this far. Hawks. It's not going to be easy to get a winning streak going. Hunter Hawks would like to battle. Won't be easy for me to get a streak going or you to get a streak going. Barboach and Sandshrew, huh? Look how tiny Barboach is! It's like a little bit longer than the length of that guy's shoe. Slightly. That's such a tiny Barboach. Just a little itty bitty. Alright. So then we can go ahead and say... I don't know, bite the Barboach. And we'll go ahead and surf's up, maybe? We'll do some surfing out here. Nom. Okay, because Sam's really weak to the surf. Or it should be neutral against Barboach because water and ground. Alright. Time to surf. Oh, and a crit. Alright. There goes the little itty bitty Barboach. See ya. Oh, and a crit and super effective. Okay, well. Yes, Sandshrew got wrecked then. Cool. Well. Neat. If he had Hunter Hawks. It's got a long, long way to go in Pyrite Coliseum. Alright. Coliseum battles in this game arguably look better than the Staven fights in Sword and Shield. Since the latter game, the two to three Pokemon in the field are closely huddled together. 
one as opposed to like more spread apart here. And this game also having like some spicy animations and stuff. You're planning to win it all, you know that's impossible. I always say that I like, you know, drapey kind of bits of clothing. I kind of like that with the bandana there. That's neat. Not to, not to worry. Not to see it now. All right. Well, yeah, this seems to be a uh, good combo to be sending out here. My Umbreon and Crocodile here. Because I can bite the Natu. And then uh, I can go ahead and just surf. Oh, I guess our Pokemon are fully healed between battles. Because I saw that Surf had 15, uh, 15 PP there again. Alright, there it goes Natu. There it goes out of here. Alright. Crocodile, you Surf. Surf's up. Don't know how this doesn't hit the trainer. But Pokemon rules 101. I am confusion. So wait, are they all only going with two Pokemon then? Does that mean that I'll only have these two? Nope, I have all six. That if I'm getting healed between battles, that seems hardly fair for my opponents. But what do I know? Um, I guess we nom. I guess we nom. <laughs> I guess we just continue to nom. Launch. Meditate fainted. Alright. Well, we'll see if it's a uh, HP and PP that gets restored or just a... Uh, just PP then. Oh wow, you're not half bad, you. Yeah, I'm a... Uh, I'm pretty alrighty. So... Pirate Coliseum semi-final. Okay. Neat. Wow, the music's getting more grand, isn't it? It's Bandana Man! You're trying to score an awesome Pokemon, aren't you? It's not gonna be that easy. Banana Guy Vilch. So if we win this, there'll be like some dude from Team Snagum that tries to give us like some sort of Shadow Pokemon, right? Tries to pawn it off on us. Spread Shadow Pokemon around. Alright. Well, not as great this time for Croc. But yeah, we are fully healed. Ooh. Okay. I'm jamming. Alright, and you have three Pokemon. And you're a little bit higher level there. Okay. So maybe I'll, um... I don't know. Do that. And we'll switch out into, say, Flaffy or something maybe then? Is what we can do. Let's shift in. I'm also realizing, for a game with as basic inputs as Pokemon, like going through menus, is there much point in having my inputs on screen like this? I just like slapping it onto layouts because, you know, it's something to put into the space. Whoa! That was pretty crazy. That was some pretty crazy stuff right there. Nom! And then it rolls back up. Well, thank goodness I snagged all those Pokemon that I did. I wasn't just in here with, like, Makuhita and, uh, <laughs> and Crocodile, you know. Thank goodness for that, at least. Okay, so we'll go ahead and uh, take out the Cacnea for sure now. That's what we do. Ow. But it doesn't do that much damage. It doesn't do all that much damage, so it's not too much of a concern at all. Oh, high damage roll. Sweet. Cool. There we go. And then... Oh, Vulpix. Oh, Vulpix is so cute. I love Vulpix. Oh, you're all hyper and stuff now. <laughs> just ignore my Pokemon over here. Let's, let's continue the battle. Don't, uh, you know, just ignore my Flaffy going a little bit insane over there. Um, sure, we can go ahead and do this. Sure, I'll call. But yeah, was that frame drop intentional? It's not, well, it's not intentional on, like, my end of setting up, you know, the emulation there. So it might just be, uh, you know, this struggling to do, maybe the emulator struggling to do that, or maybe that's just the way the game ran. I don't know. Who knows? I mean, I could play up to this point if I uh, put in my actual disc, but I really don't want to set up my Wii just to find that out. But we could. I don't know. Maybe it'd be a uh, maybe worth looking up a uh, a playthrough or a long play of like the actual physical disc version just to uh, just to compare out of curiosity. Let's see here. Yeah, let's numb and uh, shadow rush. Speaking of, I never actually looked through all the things here. I looked at the special offer thing. I was in it. 
but I, um, I never actually looked through these other manuals, because there are some other things in here, speaking of the physical version. Warning, electric shock! To avoid electric shock when you use this system, do not use the Nintendo GameCube during a lightning storm. There may be a risk of electric shock from lightning. Use only the AC adapter that comes with your system. Do not use the AC adapter if it is damaged, um, split, or broken, split or broken cords or wires. Make sure the AC adapter cord is fully inserted into the wall outlet or extension port. Always carefully disconnect all plugs by pulling on the plug and not on the cord. Make sure the Nintendo GameCube power switch is turned off before removing the AC adapter from an outlet. Caution, motion sickness. Um, yeah, let's just keep on doing things here. Playing video games can cause motion sickness. If you or your child feel dizzy or nauseous when playing games with the system, stop playing and rest. Do not drive or engage in other demanding activities until you feel better. Oh, Flappy's pissed off again. Um, caution, laser device. Nintendo GameCube is a class 1 laser product. What does that mean? Do not attempt to disassemble the Nintendo GameCube. Refer servicing to uh, qualified personnel only. Nom. Call, I guess. Um, but yeah, caution, use of controls or adjustments. Okay. So this is like a health and safety precautions Nintendo GameCube general is what this is oh my goodness it unfolds a lot a lot of detail about a nintendo gamecube i guess i think that's how the animation actually runs you don't see much of anything different from memory of this game's control quality huh? and this is like a oh contents basic controls proceeding in the game field menu saving the game battle snaggy and purify no this is the guide for the game it's just it's cover page doesn't uh doesn't say anything about that the cover page is just like that like some stuff there but then you open it up and it's like contents here's stuff about pokemon coliseum in case you're uh in case you're a little bit confused uh, let's just put the uh the game case there for now i have like so many papers on my lap right now so you remember back in the days when uh little things like this used to be bundled with games to uh let people know how to play them and stuff like that Nothing gets bundled in packages of the game as much at all anymore nowadays. Well, you, oh, well, well, he said something. Um, basic controls, control stick, control pad, can select a command, A button, confirm, B button, cancel a command with the, uh, with the A button. How to start? Insert the memory card into slot A, insert the Pokemon Coliseum game disc. Yeah, you never get stuff like this anymore nowadays, you know? This is, uh, if you beat me, Master Me RB could come calling your, for your services, here goes. And it's in full color and stuff as well. It's like a mini guide, essentially. It really was different times for video games, wasn't it? Like, my goodness. Battles. I thought this had batteries at first. You will battle against Pokemon and trainers you meet. The battle system is that each trainer uses two Pokemon. In brackets, double battle. Once a battle is started, the two Pokemon on the left side of your Pokemon screen will enter into battle. If you win, all of your Pokemon that participated and survived earn EXP points. Um, so he has four Pokemon. He's a little bit higher level, but I have, uh, I have six. I'm probably pretty good, right? We probably good here. Let's go ahead and surf then. Battle commands. Fight. You can fight using your Pokemon's moves. Pokemon. You can switch a Pokemon or look at Pokemon summary. Items. You can use items for various things. You can restore a Pokemon's HP or snag a Pokemon using a Pokeball. Call. You can make a Pokemon come to when it is in hyper mode. Or awaken a Pokemon from sleep. Ah. So the thing, uh, the thing tells me here. Save when you want to save your progress. Select save on a PC to restart the game where you last saved it. Select continue on the main menu. You can't save a game with a different memory card than the one used before. Is it, sir? Is it just me or is there like no music here? Confused. Saving the game on PCs. Yeah. It was a different time. It's battle screen. And yeah, it shows like all the different stats and like what everything is and stuff. Battle menu. Alright. Let's see here. Okay, there's slight music. Oh yeah, I hear it now. A tune that I do recognize is Pokemon Coliseum music. Against Quietly in the finals. Okay. I gotcha there. And then there's stuff for all the status ailments. And it lists out like all the status ailments and stuff and what they uh and what they do. If I bring it close enough. Wah wah. Can't even really quite read it from there, but uh I miss video games doing this. Snagging and purifying. There are Pokemon that have been changed by an evil organization. And their hearts are shut. One of the main objectives of this game is to rescue these shadow Pokemon by snagging. Oh, I gotta level up. Cool. Send out Magnemite. What is snagging? Usually you can't catch opponent's Pokemon. However, only you can snag a Pokemon during battle. Once the battle has started, identify the shadow Pokemon and throw a Pokeball to snag it. To make snagging easier, weaken the Pokemon by attacking until its HP is low. 
Oh, Magnemite. Croconaw's not gonna be as happy about, uh, as happy about that. Wait, does Steel resist Dark? Wasn't that a thing that only changed in, like, Gen 5 or something? Now that I think about it. Uh, maybe I'll swap out my Pokemon here in that case. Um, maybe I'll just do Flaffy here. Yeah, then of course you have the bonus disc that you can reuse. Still salty about Pokemon Ranger being once per cartridge? Wait, a bonus disc of Pokemon Ranger on the Nintendo DS? What? Well, actually not all GameCube cases have a great color, but the case spines tend to look great. In terms of, a oh, for probably GameCube cases have some of the best quality game cases. Nice colors are very sturdy over the years. This was used before me, like, with me getting it from the bargain bin at, uh, you know, GameStop forever ago. So, uh, if it were purely in my hands, I would have taken, you know, better care of it. Um, but yeah, let's just see here. Distinguishing Shadow Pokemon. You, the hero, can't tell whether a Pokemon is a Shadow Pokemon or not. However, during your adventure, you'll meet a partner who has a special ability to distinguish Shadow Pokemon from normal Pokemon. Purify and Purify completed. Um, uh, hey look, Delibird! You got, like, a robot form in, uh, <laughs> in Scarlet and Violet, didn't you? Alright, and then we can just, like, Shadow Rush the Magnemite, I guess? Purify and Purify completed. When a Shadow Pokemon is snagged, it is still a Shadow Pokemon. To open the closed door to its heart little by little is called Purify. And once the heart is fully open, the purification is complete. The Purify Pokemon, put it in your party and walk around with it. Make it battle. Call the Pokemon during a battle when it is on a hyper mode and make it come too. Leave it in the daycare. This game has a daycare? Um, use the scent items in the cologne case. By repeating the above methods above, the Pokemon will begin to become purified. The purifying process differs based on each Pokemon's nature. To complete purification, as the purifying process progresses and the heart gauge becomes completely white, you will need to go to the Relic Stone in a gated village. It seems as if there are other ways to purify Pokemon instantly! Exclamation mark, question mark. Hmm. So I guess I want to leave some things a slight secret there. Yeah, it has a bonus disc that can transfer a special to Rachi pretty much in infinitely. Pokemon Ranger had an event that you can only get once per cartridge. The Manaphy event? Was that something that was put onto like some sort of other cartridge then? In that a case? I wonder if the, with the power of emulation I can just get that like bonus disc like that, you know. Pokemon Coliseum with throwing ball animation really inspired the Gen 6 game. What, of throwing the uh, ball animation there? Also, hello, hello, is there Samurai? Hold on, let's see here. Because now it's a uh, starting a solo battle registering Pokemon. He's like, wait. Oh, this is just of like the Coliseum mode, like outside of the campaign. When you select register Pokemon, the picture on the right will be displayed. You register six Pokemon from the party in either the Pokemon Coliseum story mode or Game Boy Advance Pokemon Ruby or Sapphire. So I know that this game had compatibility with Ruby and Sapphire. Could you also use like Emerald later down the line? Like I know that this would have been written at the time that it would have just been Ruby and Sapphire. But presumably like Emerald would be fair game as well, unless this game is programmed for, you know, just those original ones in mind. Something like that. Register Pokemon from your Game Boy Advance Pokemon game. When GBA Pokemon is selected, the connection screen will be displayed. Follow the instructions on the screen and collect the Game Boy Advance SP system. Yada yada. I wonder if I ever play through the Game Boy Advance Pokemon games on this channel, like just on my computer. If, you know, these two different emulators would be able to interact with each other, if that's a, if that's a thing. Pretty sure you can. Okay. Wow, my uh, best number there. Play solo battle, game over, continue, suspend the save. And they have, like, Pokemon art on various pages. And stuff like that. Like, look at the little skinny, for example, right there. But yeah, very, very different times in, uh, video game history, huh? Some kind of strong, good, whatever. Guess I didn't get to see it. Alright, yeah, I did the thing. Start gang battle? What the heck is a gang battle? Story mode player, when an error occurs, please press either the reset button or the B button to go back and select continue. Ruby Sapphire player, when an error occurs, please follow the instructions in the trouble scene, connection errors with the Game Boy Advance SP system. Yeah, this was, a uh... Man, this was making me really miss stuff like, uh... Stuff like this, you know? There's, like, a whole tutorial on how to connect your, uh, Game Boy Advance to your GameCube and, uh... You know, be doing stuff there. Man, this is, a uh, I never e I never even had a Game Boy Advance or a GameCube, but this is just making me mis nostalgic for the time that games put like these along with their uh, along with their games open pretty much any nintendo switch case and it's not gonna not gonna have anything okay and then this is just like okay this is the french version here is what this is now so it's the same thing uh, again there man different times just make me uh miss games doing that nowadays you know 
Unless there's some sort of special promotion bonus thing or Bob that gets bundled inside. There's not gonna be anything in, say, like a Switch case. Even though they still have, like, the little notches in Switch cases that shows that you can put something in there if you want to. Which, again, sometimes rarely there will be, but usually not. Because, you know, nowadays the interwebs is as big as it is, and, you know, every manufacturer, every game company just kind of assumes, like, oh yeah, we'll just send out the game as is. The game will explain itself fair enough. Like, there's no way that, you know, play players will get stumped, and if they do, they can just look it up online with the internet being as big as it is nowadays. Whereas back then, you know, the instruction manuals are really, really, uh, thought out and stuff like that. Because, like, there, people aren't going to be looking that up online. So just in case they want to get stumped on any mechanics or how the heck something works, let's include, like, this really fleshed out guide and, uh, make sure that they can do exactly what they need to. And that physical thing, there's something nice about it, you know? There is a, there is that 3DS and digital game manual. What about like the 3DS itself? Is the, uh, this case when transferring Pokemon to and from the Game Boy Advance, you'll get a shiny Zigzag Goon along with an update. So even if your battery's dead, you still get time-based events? Wait, like, like as a reward for doing transfer the first time you get a shiny Zigzag Goon? Wait, what? I'm confused here. And hello, hello, Stone Sloth. Yeah, so there are some things that happened. We did some more uh, Pokemon Scarlet Violet shenanigans, and we switched over to Coliseum, and we just played in the Coliseum. Congratulations, you're the champion. Oh, we became the Pokemon champion. We uh, beat the eight gyms, and we became the Pokemon champion. You bowed fabulously. Please accept your cash prize of 4848. And as a victory applies, please accept this TM06. Okay. We'll be looking forward to your next entry. So, my Pokemon healed? Yeah. I don't like how tiny this UI is when you open it. Like, there's so much screen space that they could work with here, but it, I don't know. It's not like it's super duper tiny, but it feels kind of tiny. Um, let's save. So, is someone gonna come up to me now and be like, ah, your reward! It was Shadow Pokemon! Yeah. I believe it was Gen 5 that introduced them being infinite use, if I recall. Right. And the 3DS menu, there's a button for a manual. Like, just for the 3S itself, or for each game? Like, each game would have a digital manual. Wait, now what? Wait, now what? Now- Oh, hi. Hi there! You must be the superb trainer who has emerged triumphant in our latest battle challenge. Mir B, the town's true mover and shaker, <laughs> wishes you to have a gorgeous gift. Now, follow me. Oh, gladly. Yes! Oh, let's go through the locked door! <laughs> I love how we're walking in sync. Let's go! Whee! Okay. What's happening here? That looks like a, uh, more orange-colored-haired Jesse from Team Rocket from the anime is wearing, like, the helmet that Mewtwo wore in the first, uh, in the first movie. Like, the armor that Giovanni made and stuff like that. I have not seen it myself yet. I'd like to at some point. I've heard good things about it. I was surprised that they made another movie of that like so, so, so long after the uh, last one. I mean, similar situation with Avatar 2. But, uh, but yeah, I would like to see it at some point. All right, I'm back with our latest challenge champion. Present our lucky winner with a Shadow Pokemon and watch Chaos Unleashed. <laughs> I also still haven't seen Avatar 2 either. Ah, nice one. My new champ is quite the appealing charmer. Makes a nice change from the parade of, parade of macho muscle men. Wait, this isn't happening. This guy, he's that harm guy that me or B been carrying on about. What? That same guy who messed with us in Fenex City. Yeah, I didn't know that when I let him in here. I'll boot you back out. No, we're in here. Cypher P on Nore. Nor? I don't know, would like to battle. Wait, for each game has a digital manual from our Pokemon X and Y is a digital manual. Huh, I had no idea about that there. Yeah, very good, would recommend. Yeah, I'd like to see it. I very much would. Basically, when you transfer a Pokemon to slash from Colosseum game, XD could you get a shiny Zigzagoon that contains some code so the time-based events are no longer reliant on the internal battery. Huh. Oh, a Shadow Yanma. It sucks that this is Generation 3, so it can't even evolve into Yanmega. So it kind of sucks to suck. There's... My opponents in this game are just straight up higher level than me. You know? And this is happening without, uh, without needing to do things early in an open world like with Scarlet and Violet. This is just straight up the game is giving me opponents that are higher level than me. And it's, uh, it's a little bit sketchy, but I'm intrigued. You know? Yeah, this part of the game does get a little slow as you're grinding through a long corridor of trainers. I kind of need the experience anyway, so ah well. Nom? Nom nom. In fact, when I was writing the open world chapter of, uh, 
uh, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, I talk a little bit about difficulty modes. And, uh, you know, the people that don't want level scaling just introduce difficulty modes that would have it be tailored to their more preferred level of difficulty. Be stuff like this where, you know, I'm just always facing Pokemon that are higher level than me, and it's like, whoa! That's a little bit sketchy sketchers right there. Well, I don't... I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't want to attack that one that's biting and stuff. Ugh, man. Let's just... Let's just go ahead and try chucking, uh, chucking this here. And if that doesn't work, then we'll be switching out while that Pineco's biting. And we can try to, like, sleep powder or something like that, because I think that's the thing I got, and we can increase catch rate that way. That sounds like probably a pretty good idea, right? Bam! Big spins. Unless it just goes in this time. In which case, that'd be great. Don't know why it took so long to switch over to this shot that, this time. Yeah. Would have been too good to be true. Figured that'd probably be the case. Alright, get back here, you silly crocodile. Send out our skip loom. I might end up calling you. Nice. I keep storing energy there. Oh yeah, you've got good old speed boost. Yeah, I don't think I could see myself using uh, using Yanma as part of my party. Just because, like, I would keep telling myself in my head, like, Oh, it can get stronger when it evolves into Yanmega. When it can't even. And just pain, you know. <laughs> That's the thing. That's one of the painful things about going back to older Pokemon games. And getting Pokemon that have new evolutions, you know. It just feels kind of bad. I don't know. I don't know if I can hit that Yanma again. I mean, I can try throwing a thing once more. That's what I can try doing here. Yeah, so throw that. Can I call you right now, though? Or do I just try to sleep powder and then, like, maybe call you after? Something like that. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, I just got a text message. The CRA have updated your records and files. A pending transfer is awaiting action. Reply Y to accept. Oh man, if the CRA is like waiting to give me a transfer. I should totally, you know, press Y to accept there immediately. You know, I actually got a, I technically have WhatsApp on my phone, but I've only used it once or twice. And I honestly completely forgot it was on my phone. I got a WhatsApp text a few days ago. Um, that uh, stuff like to use sleep powder without orders. Oh. Oh, when did uproar happen? Well. Well. Anyway, um, it was from who I guess now is most likely a scammer. But it was someone being like, Hi, is this the travel agent, Mr. John? I was like, no, you got the wrong person, sorry. And they were like, oh, sorry about that. Like, I'm so sorry for taking up your time. And I was like, oh, don't worry about it. it. You know, it happens sometimes. You know, might be fun to be a travel agent, but that, uh, but that sure isn't me. Um... And they were like, oh, well, thank you for letting me know. I'm planning a trip to Canada soon. And, you know, I tried to say, like, the helpful thing being, like, you know, I'm in Canada, so you got the area code, right? Like, this is an Alberta area code, so if the person you're trying to reach is in Alberta, then, you know, the first part of the number is right, but the second part is wrong. Um, like, hope that helps. Um, and they were like, oh, okay, thanks. What city do you live in? Like, well, I didn't, obviously I didn't respond from there. <laughs> but, you know, I was I was trying to be a I was just trying to be helpful, you know. So I guess now we'll just um do that, and then I'll just call Skip Bloom here. But yeah, I found some info on what you're talking about for Ruby Sapphire Berry Glitch. Wrong about Zigzagoon that came from special demo pods. Berry Glitch. Let's see here. A Berry Glitch. Um, Berry Glitch is one of the most more commonly known glitches to have existed in the Pokemon series and the first ever to receive a fix. This glitch existed in all Pokemon Ruby and Sa Pokemon Sapphire games and at a certain point such as passing 100 hours of play will prevent any and all time related events. Major events that are affected are EV evolution only be able to evolve EV into one of the evolutions. Berry Groin. Berries will no longer grow. Shoal Cave. The title never change. Lily Cove and Sleepport, the markets and department store will not have any sales. Mirage Island, Mirage Island will no longer be available. That that's so silly. <laughs> what a insane oversight. 
There are a few ways that have been offered in order to fix the berry glitch. Many of these can be done at home, while others are were provided worldwide in case of lack of access to the various materials. Connect with Fire Red Leaf Green or Emerald. If you load up Pokemon Fire Red Leaf Green or Emerald games in another Game Boy Advance and hold on select and be on the title screen, it will open up a special berry program update. Using the Game Boy Advance link cable to connect the Game Boy Advance with Ruby or Sapphire Connect, it will send the fix to the glitch over to the games. I've never heard about this. Like, and I guess back then, you know, you couldn't exactly patch your games, but something that insanely game-breaking, they just put the patch in their future games, and it's like, yeah, if you want the patch, get someone with a copy of those games and use a cable to, like, load the patch into your game there. That's crazy. Connect with GameCube games. If you connect to Pokemon Coliseum, Pokemon Box, Ruby and Sapphire, or, and you're a Pokemon channel, these games will automatically send the very glitch patch to the Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire games. Connect with demo pods. Across the world, from 2003 to around 2007, there were various interactive GameCube demo pods of retailers. Inside these demo pods, there was an option to send the very glitch patch to your game. Doing so gave you a special society stick like as well. Sent to Nintendo. A final option was to send your game to Nintendo. They would fix this for free, however they no longer provide the service. Huh. <laughs> so in the age where you couldn't exactly just, like, use the internet to send a patch to your game. That's actually really fascinating. I've never heard about that before. Whoa, look how good that Sinkata's eyes look. Like, I'm sure that's because I'm upscaling this into HD, but even still. Like, you, uh, alright, yeah, I'm gonna calm down and stuff. Um, so yeah, we can go ahead and do that. I don't know how long up for. Keeps going. How long that stays active for. Nice! Huh. Yeah, it really was different times, huh? My goodness. But yeah, that, uh... That's definitely a big blunder on Pokemon's part to uh, have launched a game with, you know, that kind of level of game-breaking glitch. Like, at least it seems like they really did what they could to uh, make sure that it was fixed in a game that they couldn't patch, you know. They would patch it in other ways. Like, literally every single thing that we're releasing since then has the patch if you can get access to it and, like, reload it into your game. That's crazy. Learned a new, very interesting bit of a uh, Pokemon history there. Wow, that's certainly something. Oh, there was no frame drops that time during Quick Attack. Interesting. It's just with a uh, just with Electric. Yeah, keep on using Super Sonic and missing. I'm surprised these Super Sonics keep missing. Usually, my RNG in Pokemon games is like if the opponent uses a low accuracy move against me, it's still gonna hit me. And if I try one against an opponent, it's gonna hit like a third of the time. You know, <laughs> it's typically how it goes. You know. Typically what it feels like. Alright, there goes skirt skirt. Yeah, yeah, I know you're fast. You're hella fast. Alright. Let's chuck a Pokeball. At your Yanma. And then, you know, be doing this, I guess. Throw a Snag Ball. But yeah, using a full Gen 2 team in a Gen 3 game. <laughs> oh yeah. That is a, uh... I'm just now noticing that is the case, isn't it? Yeah, we're playing uh, playing Gen 2 Pokemon out here now. I guess. Shadow Rush. Well, it'll make you easier to catch, right? Because it'll take some... Oh, gosh dang it! But I won't be able to sleep powder. No! And your HP barely even went down with that. Man! <sighs> well, I can call the Noctowl in the meantime and... Uh, Noctowl will be like less rage induced stuff. Um, yeah, sure. Throw a Pokeball here again. I got that. And then. Call. There we go. But yeah, so I guess I would have found out about those call mechanics if I just like read through the manual that was in here, even. You know. Would have been the case had I just started out with that. Ugh. That one looked like it was securely snagged. Yeah, it totally did. Noctowl! That's all that came to its senses from the trainer's call. All right, so your bar's all the way to the bottom now. Sweet. So you've got all your stuff unlocked there. Until you get, like, fully purified. Which apparently you can only do, like, much later on or something like that. All right. So we can throw the Pokeball. In the meantime, we can just, like, actually wait. Oh, you have hypnosis. I can try hypnosis. Let's see if this maybe works. I don't know. Maybe. 
would be nice. Alright, give me that Yamma. And I could check one of the shiny Sig Zigzagoons from the patch. Might actually have one of the shiny Sig Zigzagoons from the patch. You're gonna check. That would have been from quite some time ago. If we ever cover the, uh, like, Ruby Sapphire, the originals on the channel, then I'm sure with emulation can probably, uh, can probably install that patch there. Because I'd be intrigued to see that, quite frankly. Yeah, so I guess we'll keep on doing this here. Is the case. Yeah, iron. Yeah, we go ahead and try to use hypnosis on Yanma. As a kid, you had little awareness that frame drops in games were a thing. Grew up with the GameCube, and the only GameCube game that you can distinctly remember from them occurring was Star Wars Rogue Squadron. Squ Squadron? Yes, that's how words work. I'm not familiar with that game myself, but uh, but yeah, when I think about uh, you know, older games, I don't really think about frame drops as uh, as much. When I think about frame drops in video games, I think, like, modern games, typically PC games where it's like everyone's specs can be a little bit different and it might not be optimized for the exact hardware. Or, you know, modern Pokemon, <laughs> essentially. Just... Are you asleep? Yes. Yes. Nice. So now... Now we can go ahead and do that. In fact, I don't even think that- I don't think there was any games that I played back when that had, like, frame drop issues. There were games I played back when that had pop-in issues, like, uh, like, replaying Sly 2, for example. There was definitely some instances that I noticed that things a platform on would only pop in when I was really close to them in some instances. Namely, in the third world, there were a couple specific bars that would only pop in when I was really, really close to them. Uh, but apart from, like, pop-in things, yeah, I don't think I ever ran into frame issues. Sure, why not? Just put up reflect for now. Something or other. Alright. Yanma's gotta go in there now. I don't even plan on using Yanma, but... <laughs> well, I'll catch it here anyway. Get in there. There we go. So I can put them to sleep with either Knock Towel or Skip Loom. That's handy there. No surprise how you managed to win the tournament. Man, I think it is. I think you might have wanted the special Zigzagoon. That's a- that's definitely a collector's piece right there, in that case. Um, just learned today that Shadow of the Colossus for the PS2 has some significant frame drop issues, though for understandable reasons. Oh yeah, that was something super ambitious there. I've never played it before myself, but I know how ambitious it was. I mean, it's a, literally a game where you climb up Colossus and stabby stab him and stuff. Um, it's useless, I don't stand a chance of winning. Now hold on, you're the one who brought him here. So I can interact with this binder because it's flashing. Ah, oh, you're safe. Heard you enter this building. Had me worried. Do you know what he looks like? He looks like if the neighbor from Hello Neighbor got swole as... Like, about as swole as Snake's Revenge Snake. He looks like if the, uh, neighbor from Hello Neighbor and Snake's Revenge Snake had a kid and it became him. Um, <laughs> Tuking, this is, this is where they were giving Shadow Pokemon to the winners of battle challenges. Shadow Pokemon. It's ferocious Pokemon that even attack people. Yes, they're giving away Shadow Pokemon to thugs for some reason. Doesn't look good. Ugh, they are using the Colosseum to do that. Big lady, my papa. Papa's Pokemon was taken away by Mirror B as a prisoner. He did what? Mirror B used a dirty move like that? It's Papa's Plusle. I'm so worried that they might be mean to it. It's humiliating. But with Plusle in their filthy hands, my own hands are to- Oh, that- I was about to say, I didn't read that I was duking at first. I was about to say, these are just big words for a- These are big words for a tiny kid. It's humiliating. But with Plusle in their filthy hands, my own hands are tied. He's not getting away with this, that rotten mere bee. But we're here now. We'll get Plusle back for you, right, Harm? What, what happens if I say no? It's no time for joking, I have to rescue Duking's Plusle to- Yep. I know, I can always count on you, Harm. Duking, it's dangerous inside this building. We've got to get everyone out to safety. Thanks for everything. I have to depend on you. I have no choice. Be careful always. Mirror B might look like a clown, but his battling is all business. Here he goes. Watch someone catch a huge fish by letting it eat his arm? That's not something you hear every day. Sweet, I got a Ein... Einfile! Am I get the, uh... <laughs> Am I gonna go around here getting, uh, multiple files? Like the Svai file, the Dry file. Um, ein file ha is written on the uh, files cover. Read it, sure. Hyper mode. Shadow Pokemon, perhaps because they 
because of their own overwhelming power, may become abnorm may behave abnormally at times. They may engage in such behavior as ignoring orders, and when turning on their own trainers in battle. This I've named Hyper Mode. On the plus side, Hyper Mode raises the, raises the critical ratio of Shadow Rush, however Hyper Mode also prevents the use of items on the Pokemon. Hyper Mode is easily dispelled. Simply call the Pokemon by name. However, this method has a major drawback. Calling the Shadow Pokemon's name causes the closed door of its heart to loosen and even open. Further research is urgent. Shadow Pokemon Lab, Chief Ein. Is it really gonna be like Ein Zweidrei? Or uh... How do I, the heck do I get over there? Because I'd like to use that Healy thing if at all possible. Yeah, I'll just play it safe and go out to the Healy thing out here first. Yeah, Genius Sorori does have a special fondness for body dimorphism. Even more so in Gale of Darkness. I think I might have heard that word like maybe once or twice before, but I don't know what it means. I might have to, uh, I might have to define it to me. The word body. No, I mean, obviously not body. Um, <laughs> but yeah, let's see here. A copy of Sapphire was pre-owned and already had some Pokemon. One of the Pokemon was that Zigzagoon. Wow. I got a used po copy of Pokemon Emerald forever ago, but it turns out the reason why it was being sold is because saving didn't work in it, and it was literally unplayable. I was really upset he spaghetti, and I never bought anything off of eBay ever again. Um, <laughs> so there was that. But yeah, I had to put his other arm through the kill so it didn't slip off the arm and got eaten, so it looked like Fish almost broke off his other arm so he held in place using the original arm. We should enact something like that to fish for Pokemon in the Pokemon world. Sounds like a great way to go around catching Magikarps and things. Sounds fantastic. 